Welcome back to the channel. So this morning I was tagged in a tweet referring to an article by GB News, which I'll put in the description below. The article describes how drivers can face a £1,000 fine if they share the location of a mobile speed trap on social media, clearly to warn other road users that there is a speed trap in that area. It refers to section 89 of the Police Act, which under subsection 2 provides any person who resists or willfully obstructs a constable in the execution of his duty or a person assisting a constable in the execution of his duty shall be guilty of an offence and liable on summary conviction to imprisonment for a term not exceeding one month or to a fine not exceeding level three on the standard scale or both. Now, strictly speaking, if one were to share the location of a mobile speed trap on social media or with other road users or to flash your lights to warn other road users, technically you are willfully obstructing a constable in the execution execution of his duty. However, I can offer a counter argument to this. This is not a criticism of the article, just another point of view. That being section 89 of the Police Act, in my view, was really designed to prevent people from stopping an officer arresting a criminal. So if someone walks along and prevents an officer from arresting a criminal, then they are obstructing the constable in the execution of his duty and therefore can be convicted for that offence. But the counter argument is even more nuanced than that. The mobile speed trap is of course designed to catch motorists who are speeding and to punish them for it. But the overall objective of that speed trap and catching people speeding in the first place is to reduce the number of drivers speeding to make the roads safer. So I would offer the counter argument that if people are sharing the location of a mobile speed trap on social media, it is naturally going to have the effect of making drivers slow down in that area. So whether drivers are caught or not, if the result is that there are fewer drivers speeding around in that area, then the presence of the mobile speed trap has had the desired effect. And there is yet further nuance to this counter argument, that being as follows. If drivers are not sharing the location of the mobile speed trap on social media and not warning other drivers about it, drivers that are not aware of the speed trap driving through the area, who normally speed, will continue to speed through that area. And statistically speaking, with enough speeding drivers, enough speed trap locations, and over a long enough time frame, this is going to be more dangerous and there are going to be a higher number of casualties than there would have been if drivers are permitted to share the location of mobile speed traps because, as I say, the overall objective, of course, should be, I don't think anyone would argue, to be to reduce the number of speeding drivers through that area if it is known to be dangerous. Now, of course, I'm not advocating breaking Section 89 of the Police Act 1996 because it is an offence to willfully obstruct a constable in the execution of his duty, and that would technically include tipping off other road users because it would prevent the officer from catching those speeding drivers from speeding. So as I often say, the law should make sense, it should make common sense, it should achieve the overall aim that it was set in the first place. And in my humble view, Section 89 of the Police Act 1996 was to prevent people from stopping a police officer from arresting somebody, preventing crime and going about the normal execution of his duty. And with the application in this scenario, vis-a-vis -vis drivers warning other road users about the mobile speed trap, there is this counter argument, which is if the location is shared, the natural result is drivers will be driving more slowly and the roads will be safer. So I suppose as a society, we should be asking, what is it that we want more? Do we want more people punished for the speeding or ultimately do we want the roads to be safer? Because put it this way, if every single road in the country had a working speed trap, all the time and if you were speeding on any road anywhere at any time you were caught fined and sent to court if necessary of course some people would still speed but there would be far fewer people speeding and ultimately surely that's the objective i offer up this counter argument purely as discussion because there is always more than one way of looking at it and i'm sure many people will have different views so let me know what you think in the comment section down below please make sure you like this video and subscribe i am really grateful when you do that and of course thank you for watching